Hi guys, Creative Lori here. Um, I wanted to do a quick little DIY, something more on the rustic classic side other than cutesy. Um, I have a big picture that I want to insert something and I thought, well, what better than like a burlap heart, which I cut out already. Um, and hope you can see this. And I had some leftover um, poster board from the Dollar Tree, and I've had it for quite some time, so I just want to use it up. And then um, I have some of this uh, creepy cloth, they call it. It's like a cheese cloth, but um, it's, you know, the, the pattern is a lot uh, more spread out, or the weave, I should say. So, and all you need is a glue gun, and some glue sticks and basically I got all these things from the Dollar Tree and 99 cent store except for the burlap but I guess some um, Dollar Trees carry burlap sheets I have never seen that at my Dollar Tree but um yeah actually I haven't seen it at three different Dollar Trees that I go to so you guys are lucky that you get that but I get mine at Walmart and it's pretty cheap so I had some leftovers so I just wanted to uh, make a quick little DIY and I'm gonna be putting it over here inserting it in this picture frame so it's got the uh, mat around it and I like I mean it's more fallish so that's why I wanted to put the black in there with the cream and then the heart and I'll probably put it through the back so let's see how it turns out I haven't done this yet so I took a quick little measurement um, of this and I don't know if you can see the pencil mark that I made right here and so I'm just going to cut it all the way down and then cover it with the cheesecloth or the creepy cloth, whatever you want to call it. All right, so I kind of cut it with like um, a bread knife because it's really, it's serrated and it cuts really nicely. And to make it like a straight edge, which doesn't look like it here, but um, I took... Uh, the other poster board and then just drew a line and you know it's not going to cut perfectly because like the scissors at our worst they leave creases and so I like the serrated knife better um, and I just had to trim like some areas off a little bit because <laughs> it was very uneven so that's okay it's going to get covered by that little cloth so it's not a big deal all right I know the lighting is kind of bad in here because it's sunny, <laughs> but this is basically doubled up and I've just like tucked underneath the, um, the edges and so I'm just going to hot glue that and then I'll put the little heart on there and I'm hoping it will look cute with the black and matted frame. Okay guys, so all I did was um, I actually just taped the back I might tape that piece right there so I can reuse the cloth because I knew if I had put hot glue it would stick to it um, but I'm <laughs> now that I think about it I'm gonna probably hot glue it to this so we'll see but um, I hot glued the heart to the um, cloth and then I just wrote out love and I was actually out of letters to write that so I took um, I took an a and I just snipped out that middle stem to make the V and then I was out of an E so I took an F and then chopped off part of the H for the stem which I don't think you can really notice so let me glue this just gently because <laughs> this is plexiglass and I don't want to ruin it but I really like the look of it I think it's super cute so I want to do it Okay guys, there it is. It looks super cute. So I don't want to show you everything because I'm going to do a Valentine's Day tour. It's really not much, but I mean, it's very slight and I really love this. So I have another idea that I want to do. All right guys, so I had a picture that was hanging um, above like right over here in that little skinny space. And I took down most of the little decorations um, 
my cats tore down the banner, but it kind of looks cute like that actually hanging. So, <laughs> but I'm going to redo that until my friend Tamika is here. So obviously I'm going, I would like to put, take down the Eiffel Tower and put it like a little picture up there. And my idea is I have this one that normally hangs there and I cut another piece of the poster board because it was left over and pretty much got it to where it fits inside and it doesn't have to be perfect but then I have burlap that is almost the same exact size from me cutting out that heart so I'm gonna hot glue that and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do all right as you can see I just hot glued it I barely had enough on each edge especially that one but it covered it and I didn't even bother cutting that. So we'll see how it fits as far as inserting it. I might have to push down a little bit, but I'll show you what I do with it later. All right, guys. So I had to cut it um, with this knife two more times, just a little bit, as you can see, just to get the edges off. And so I didn't make the... Um, I had to like detach the burlap a little bit on the side. So it really calls for like a very rough edge, which I'm gonna trim this so it'll look a little better, but I don't mind that it looks so raw. And then let me show you the last step that I'm gonna do. All right guys, so there's my little DIY. It's not perfect and it's probably not even square as far as where um, the houses are. I can tell they're a little bit off, but I'm actually gonna be putting them on a plank my dad is going to be cutting it up for me. He's working on that. And until then, because I won't be seeing him for a few days, um, I just wanted to use them because I found that these little, I found these little houses um, at the 99 cent store. And um, as you can see, like the side, you can kind of see the glue. So yeah, I was working with some limited materials, but <laughs> um, I just hot glued I just hot glued the little houses for now because I really wanted to use them and I'm actually going to adhere them or screw them to um, the wood plank but three and I'll be using them for something a little bit different. But I put my little um, hearth and hand cookie cutters. There's two on the bottom, one on the top and then one heart. So it's just a cute little, I uh, can't really see it cute little gesture for now because I didn't like that there wasn't anything up there and I really do like now how I put the table at an angle so let me back up and kind of show you because that little piece of art now is so stuck in the corner so I felt like this sort of had to you know compensate for that so I just put a wood tray and then a little white dish and I left my little sign hanging and I left that little stool because it all kind of goes the black and the natural and um, my little soda fountain DIY and then my little house is up there. So guys, I hope you like this and my other DIY um, picture. So I will do a house tour another time, but I just wanted to do a couple of little pieces of art and this is just kind of rustic and homemade, not perfect, not meant to be perfect, just using what I had. And um, I can't wait to get that wood for the other little houses. But anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you're new to my channel, welcome and hello. And for everyone else that's original, hello and thank you for sticking with me. Um, I will be doing some more um, hauls soon. I just happen to have like a little extra time this afternoon. And it's a gorgeous day out. It's very sunny, as you can see. So um, I had already been for my walk and it was very foggy here. So it finally burned off at noon. So I took advantage of that. But anyways, guys, hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. See ya. Bye. Hi guys, one more thing. <laughs> I actually added this, those little handmade hearts that I made out of burlap and wax paper and then close pinned them to each of the corner. So it at least hides that little round um, hanging mechanism. So that's it guys. I love it until I can do the wood one. So hope you enjoyed it. Bye.